An all new at six, a local family looking for answers after their loved one passed away following a traffic stop. According to the Illinois State Patrol, 33 year old Lamar Bell showed signs of a medical emergency while being questioned by a state trooper. 13 WRX's Destin Howard talked with that family this afternoon as they wait to find out what contributed to Bell's death. Lamar Bell's sister and brother Starlene Bell and Alani Thomas are simply asking for transparency from Illinois State Police. The family tells me they have not been given information from the agency and all they are asking for is answers. I'm angry. I'm angry because I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to my brother. We're not trying to throw shade on anybody. It's just the accountability aspect about it. Whether it was county, state, we just need some answers. And those are the people that are supposed to have the answers. The brother and sister of Lamar Bell looking for answers from Illinois State Police about what happened during a traffic stop leading up to his death. This map shows where Bell was stopped by a state trooper, which was near 10th Avenue and Kishawaki Street. Bell's siblings, Starlene Bell and Lonnie Thomas, said they've had no luck in getting any answers. We showed up at the hospital. All the police officers were standing out there that was at the scene. Nobody came and told my mom anything. They never, never spoke they was us. there. They was there. The we seen them, they seen the us, and they never said anything to us. The family has even began protesting in an attempt to spread awareness for Lamar Bell, asking for the community's support. The police is there. They're supposed to serve and protect us. We shouldn't have to be afraid during a traffic stop. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't have to fear for our life during a traffic stop. And I shouldn't have to teach my son growing up how to respond if he ever have an encounter with the police. We just want to be clear in our reporting, this case is not involving the Rockford Police Department or Winnebago County Sheriff's Office. It involves the Illinois State Police. I contacted them today trying to get answers for the family concerning this case, and they referred me to a press release that was sent out last week, adding it is still under investigation. Bell's funeral will be held next Monday, July 31st at Kingdom Authority Church in Rockford.